Hello everybody, out on a ride today. Cold, cold, cold. Uh, 41 when I left, probably about 45 now. A little windy, I'm trying to keep you out of the wind, but it seems to be coming from all directions. So I'll have to go down and put my hand, cover you guys up again. Uh, a couple things, I wanted to show you guys something that happened just last week or the week before that. Uh, and so let's go over to the uh, new PC screen and take a look at this. So that's the new national debt and that's just the money that we owe on the big debt, the deficit. So we're, we, we've changed from 18 trillion 700 billion to 18 trillion 800 billion. And when we started just a, not too long ago, that was at six. Now it's already up at eight. But let's go look at the deficit. That's the big one. Look at how this thing is climbing. Let's go back over to the ride. And one other thing I wanted to show you was this comment on the last video I did. I, I wanted to uh, answer, I, I definitely wanted to answer that. How do I keep from getting depressed over all the terrible news? Um, you know how I do it. There's sort of like three or four major things that I do to, to keep myself from getting depressed. And one of them is I make this video. And I, I know that sounds crazy, but as if I'm really doing anything. But I, I try anyway. You know, I don't know how else to get the information out there. I, I feel I feel frustrated that scientists themselves don't make videos and tell what's going on. And and you know, the, we just seem to only pay attention to the uh, to the the stuff that has uh, death or killing or war in it or uh, fights or chases or something. You know, there's always something that's that's much more interesting to watch than science. But Anyway, doing the video helps me uh, deal with it because I, I feel like I'm trying to do something, even though <laughs> it's questionable whether I am, but I have as much chance as anybody else. Uh, another thing is family. Um, if you have a partner or close family and friends, whatever it is, you know, that really helps a lot. You know, you can uh, always know that you have somebody you can depend on if you get hurt or something. So. Uh, another thing is, is of course, diet. You know, a good diet means that it's very hard to get depressed. It really is. If you're eating, uh, if you're on a vegetarian diet, make sure that you know what it is that you have to eat. And if you do and you eat those things, you really feel good, no matter what your age. And the last probably thing is that I, I watch history. You know, I've watched history for years and years and years, and I've, I've, I'm sort of a, a history, uh, um, what do you call it, a hobbyist? So I've got you out of the wind here. So you're, so I know that just 200 years ago we were in misery compared to today. There, there was no heating in homes. There was no cars. There was no health care. I mean, it's a lot better now than it was. Even though humans are acting so stupid, we are going in the direction of being more comfortable. And even you know, in the job. Jobs aren't nearly as stressful as they used to be in the way of doing manual labor type stuff. My biggest thing are my, my projects, you know, and my bicycling. I love bicycling. I also, uh, when I was in the military, I got hurt. I have a back injury, so I can't hold down a regular job, so I work at home. And, and that's, you know, the only way I can take care of myself. These projects all help, you know, and, and the ability to be able to work at home now. That's pretty cool, you know, that was just 10 years ago, that wasn't possible. So, um, things are getting better for me a little bit than they were just two, three years ago. Humans are always going to be, you know, fighting with each other and doing crazy stuff, and but we always seem to somehow keep going. So, uh, th there's a, that tiny bit of uh, what people call hope. Keep watching, add what you can. Who knows, your comment next time may be the one that gets us some better leaders so that we can start really evolving into a one-type society.
so tonight's uh, New Year's Eve cold windy uh, the security is ridiculous they're they're taking groups of cars across the Golden Gate Bridge I guess they have to search them for bombs remember in 2016 terror 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 all the time and of course never take your eyes off the screen